what is going on guys bontai here welcome back to another video hope everybody's doing great today's video i'll be showing you guys or more or less explaining to you how to replace the heat management module i would just like to start off by saying that these videos are going to be really quick if you have any more in detailed questions to ask feel free to leave a comment and i'll do my best to explain it to you i don't have uh, a lot of footage of when i replaced all of these but this is going to be the first of a lot of videos explaining how to replace things on the B58. There are very much less common to see videos on. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First step, always disconnect your battery. Second step, come around to the front and start removing all of your plastics and trims, such as the one that goes above the left and right headlight. And on top of that, you're going to want to remove the sound deadening from the back of the engine to allow you to get easier access to take off the intake manifold after that you're going to want to take i believe an e22 and a 14 millimeter to the brace bars that you see located in this video right here playing This step is optional. You can remove the hose clamp that's attached to the airbox and lift directly up on the airbox, which it's just held on with three rubber grommets. Now, underneath the vehicle, there are three separate plastic cowlings that you will have to remove. I don't have a picture of them, but it's pretty self-explanatory. They're held on with, I believe, eight millimeter um, bolts and they all screw into um, plastic retainer clips. The reasoning behind this is so you don't drip coolant down into your plastic retaining trays that have sound deadening in them, which will absorb the coolant and it will cause you later down the line to believe that there's a leak. Next up, you're gonna want to remove your charge pipe it's only held on by three bolts. After you remove your charge pipe, you're gonna to wanna to come on to the top to take off your fuel tank breather valve. After that, you're gonna to wanna to remove the DME cover. After that, it'll expose the DME wires. There's six of them. All you have to do is press down on the clip and pull it out. After you do that, it will leave two clips more visible closest to the strut tower where your fuel line is coming in from. You're going to want to pull those back towards you and lift up on the DME. After you do that, you're going to want to disconnect a couple of miscellaneous wiring harnesses that are going to your power management module. Power management module is that second black box located right underneath of the DME. After you remove both modules, this will free up room for you to remove the actual cradle that holds both of the modules. The top two bolts, I believe, are 10 millimeters. Uh, you just unscrew those and you can lightly set that off to the side. It does not have to come fully out of the car as there will be a couple wires and things that are still attached to the um, cradle itself. Now, as a precautionary step, you can choose to drain your coolant out by opening your reservoir caps for both reservoirs, disconnecting your upper radiator hose, as well as disconnecting the radiator hose that goes onto the condenser um, cooler block. It's di directly below the smaller of the radiator or reservoirs, and that will allow you to catch most of the coolant in the system and drain it out. Um, but this is completely optional. Then we're gonna come up to the top. All of the accessories and things that are connected to the intake plenum, we're going to just remove all of that. So any bolts that are holding that wiring harness down, mine, in my case, were missing, but any bolts that are holding that wiring harness down leading over to the DME, the hard plastic line that comes out of the intake manifold over to the fuel tank breather valve, and some miscellaneous wiring harnesses going over to that um, breather valve and across the um, intake. After that, we're just going to remove the low temp uh, coolant 
uh, hose that is on top of it just pops off with the clip and we will be able to remove that portion of that. Then we're gonna come over and remove all of the um, clips that are holding that one wiring harness that runs across the valve cover and we're just gonna remove that so that way it's out of our way. Then starting from the middle of the valve cover, it's going, the disconnection order is going to be one in the middle, two to the right, three on the left of one, four on the right of two, five on the left of three, six on the far left, and seven on the far right. When you lift the intake manifold up, there are going to be two connections closest to you. Those are going to be the hardest connections to remove just because of the clip placement that is holding those um, coolant pipes on. So um, you're going to want to use a lot of up and down movements, up and down, up and down, up and down, because they are keyed in a way to where if you try and wiggle it side to side, you're not going to get as much movement as you would with trying to pull and move the connector up and down. In case anybody's wondering, the torque spec for these bolts here are eight newton meters, and the torque spec for these, this one that goes to the block is 10 newton meters. As you saw from that short clip, that is what removing the intake manifold will reveal. You're going to see a tube or a pipe come from the T-pipe that's coming off of the engine straight to the heat management module. You're gonna to wanna to start by disconnecting the wire that goes onto the heat management module. It's just a normal um, clip where you pop the plastic piece out first and then you press down on it and it releases. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to loosen uh, the bolts on that are holding it on in no particular order. Uh, as long as you get them nice and loose and able to where you are uh, able to grip the heat management module with two hands and pull to the right of the heat management module. There is just enough room for you to wiggle it out of that space up and down, up and down, up and down, and get it out of that area. That will release it from the housing that's on the back of the water pump. Again, up and down movements to release the heat management module. You do not want to be trying to shaking it forward and backward. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next informational video. Peace out.